So as Mr. Yama has taught you, there has been many types of Riemann sums. There are left, right, and midpoint sums, which use rectangles, trapezoidal sum, which uses trapezoids, and another method called Simpson's rule, which is rarely seen. Today I'll be showing you how to calculate the Riemann sum for left, right, midpoint, and trapezoidal on the TI-89, not focusing too much on the Simpson's rule. So first, let's start off by going to apps on the TI-89. So this will lead you to the main menu of the calculator. Scroll up until you see calculus tools, which looks like this. So some of your TI-89s may not have this app, so ask Mr. Yam to program it into your calculator. So press enter, and then next hit F3, which is integration. So now you can see left sum, right sum, midpoint rule, trapezoidal rule, Simpson's rule, and comparison. But for the sake of this video, I'll just be showing you the first four. So before we start, let's change the window setting by pressing diamond F2. So let's change the x minimum to 0, x maximum to 5, y minimum to negative 4, and y maximum to 25. Alright, so let's begin with a left Riemann sum. So let's start off with a fairly simple equation. Let's start off with a parabola that has been shifted down two units. So you should already know what the equation and graph looks like. So in case you didn't know, it looks like this. x squared minus 2. So then um, now we can set the lower bounds and upper bounds to find the area under the curve at a specific interval. So let's use something easy. Let's change the lower bound to 0 and the upper bound to 5. So now the last step is to find out what n or the number of partitions should be. Remember that the higher the partitions, the more accurate your value will be. So let's start off with 10 partitions. Remember that if I use n as 10, then each width of the rectangle will be 1 half. But if I use n as 5, then each width will be 1. So let's press enter and see what our approximation gives us. So we get an approximation of 25.625 using a left Riemann sum. So as we can see, we know that this is a underestimate because the rectangles are under the curve, which means there is little space for more area. So this is a, an actual this approximation is less than the actual area under the curve. So now let's try a right Riemann sum. So press enter, enter, F3, now using a right Riemann sum. We're going to be using the same function, the same bounds, 0 to 5, and the same number of partitions, which is 10. So now we get an approximation of 38.125 using a right Riemann sum, which is a lot more than the left Riemann sum. So now we know this is an overestimate because the rectangles are above the function line. So this will be more than the actual area under the curve. So how can we get an ex a more or less exact area under the curve? So now we can use what's called the midpoint sum. So, which is this, the midpoint rule. So same function, same bound, same partition, and let's see what we get. So this time we get an approximation of 31.5625, which is in between the left sum and the right sum. So this is because the rectangles are in the middle of the partitions which is more which gives a more accurate approximation so now let's try a tra trapezoidal rule so as you know what a trapezoid is a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides so here we can see that this is one quadrilateral i mean one trapezoid <laughs> another trapezoid, and another trapezoid, and so on. So this um, trapezoidal rule gives us an approximation of 31.875. So our midpoint formula, which was a pretty good estimation, approximation of the curve, was 
5625. But this would be more accurate because we can see that the trapezoid covers the actual function. So it gives us a, a more or less equal area. So remember that the trapezoidal rule isn't always the best method. It is usually based on the curvature of the function. So sometimes the left Riemann sum would be more effective or the right Riemann sum would be more effective depending on the function. But in this case, x squared minus 2, a trapezoidal, a trapezoidal rule would be most effective.